let's get into uh, the real the real sauce for today. Dr. Disrespect responds to new Twitch ban allegations from an ex-employee. Former Twitch employee has come forward and stated the alleged reason for Dr. Disrespect's permanent Twitch ban for being sexting a minor in the previous Twitch Whispers product. Uh, he was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read it in plain text. Case closed, gang. In the Whispers, dog, you know they can see that. You know, like, that's easily accessible from the back end. You disgusting piece of He responded to Jake Lucky saying, Jake, seriously, I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. There are a couple takeaways from this. Should Twitch have acknowledged it? I think so. Uh, do I understand why they did not? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the Lee Carter reply? Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, legalese for I did that shit. Oh, yeah, 100%. No uh, wrongdoing was acknowledged. Not there was no wrongdoing. John Vids clocked that response as well. <laughs> that is a very particular way of denying uh, wrongdoing you have there. <laughs> Uh, the search also had this. Uh, Nick Merckx went off uh, about LGBTQ plus people being a danger to children and Dr. Disrespect defended him by deleting Call of Duty in solidarity. Uh, while at the time, Dr. Disrespect may have been kicked from Twitch for being a child predator. Let's go back to uh, 2023. This happened four blocks from my Overwatch League apartment. This was the uh, the thing that uh, Nick Merckx, you know, started his alt-right public. They should leave the kids alone. That's the real issue. He's 6'9", anyway. I don't know why you would be on your tippy toes. He's 6'9". There's no amount of, you know, lifting yourself up that's going to get you on that level, okay? Let's just, let's just be real. A classic, the call is coming from inside the house moment. Always. Always. It's projection. Uh, Dr. Disrespect is responding to a former Twitch employee alleged uh, alleging the streamer was uh, permanently banned in 2020 for inappropriately messaging a minor. Once hailed as the face of Twitch guy, Dr. Disrespect, BM, guy, Do uh, Dr. Disrespect, BM, uh, was suddenly removed from the site in 2020 with fans left in the dark as to why. A legal dispute between the doc and Twitch followed his permanent ban and uh, was resolved two years later. However, the reason behind his removal remained a mystery. Despite his denials of any wrongdoing, many within the industry have spoken up in response to Connor's claim, including Robert Bowling. Bowling, from Dr. Disrespect's game studio, wrote, I'm now aware and I'm dealing with it. For anyone uh, who didn't see, Rob isn't saying, I'm now aware. Uh, as if anything uh, said was factual, he meant quite literally, he is now aware that a post was made with a vague accusation, and he is committing to following uh, to follow through to deal with it accordingly. Source. Let's see. Just now aware or just now public? Based on this previous tweet about similar such behavior from other people, to be clear, and other companies, I'm willing to say he's probably just now aware. He has called this kind of stuff out regularly and loudly. Hope this is no different. Uh, that's why I'm following him, at least uh, for calling out toxic behavior at EA. It'd be really uh, disheartening to see him uh, turn a blind eye to something like this uh, for a capital injection uh, from something uh, he knew was a disgusting pig. Uh, I'm very, I very deliberately mean now aware. I landed from Stockholm, uh, reconnected, saw the tweet, and immediately began an investigation to uh, learn everything I need to know so I can ensure a full follow through. Doctor Disrespect is another uh, Jimmy Seville type situation. Uh, we should have just looked at him. Oh Who the fuck is this? Who? A pedo. Ah, a nonce. Now, Slasher did elude to something like this back in 2020, and for months, months, said that he had the detail, but couldn't speak on it. Rob Breslau, one of the first journalists to break the news of Dr. Disrespect's ban, also posted on Twitter and simply wrote, I didn't lie, though added that Connors was a secondhand source. Uh, DJ Wee responded to uh, Breslau's initial tweet, only writing, respect. Journalist Nathan Grayson stated that without revealing anything else in order to uh, protect my sources, uh, he had heard basically this explanation multiple times. Without revealing anything else in order to protect my sources, I can say that this is not the first time I have heard basically this explanation, nor is it the second or third. A caveat, all of the sources I spoke to were secondhand, they were not in the room when it happened, nor could they provide documentation. In other words, this is not a confirmation. Until somebody who actually pulled the trigger either comes forward or talks to a reporter, we will not necessarily have the full story, and likely we won't. Now, Twitch is notorious 
or not being clear about what you are banned for, right? There's no clip attached to the email you get when you're banned saying like, hey, this is it. This is the song that you got DMCA'd for. That's why you got a 24 hour. This is the clip that you showed you, you know, calling it for violence against somebody. There's no concise way that Twitch does this. Dan Clancy is uh, live right now. We should ask him. He will not answer that question. It would be great if he did. You know, listen, Dan, as a, you know, journalist, as a commentator on your platform, I think it would behoove you to speak to somebody in the Twitch press corps, <coughs> me, um, about this. Yeah, Ray Dan, <laughs> guest star the CEO. <laughs> I think it is a massive problem that Twitch needs to actually address when they do this. Like, if you are going to ban somebody, you should have a clear very precise explanation for why not just for that person so that they know like how to properly appeal a ban but also for the public Bingo! because there were other streamers like a certain streamer from a particular community we all know why that person was banned it was for a plethora of consistently bad behavior you know we know why but if there was a singular straw that broke the camel's back moment, then having that be referenced, that would be best. That particular streamer knows why, but will never acknowledge it. And neither will Dr. Disrespect. You don't understand why they aren't transparent about this shit? Uh, it's mostly for, um, for cover and also logistics. The logistics of, do you know how many people get banned every day on Twitch? Do you know how many people get banned? You know what the PR would look like? I worked in the corporate headquarters for a company uh, like Instacart and worked uh, with contracted employees. It's a liability to provide a reason for a ban. It's better just to say uh, you can't use our platform anymore. Right. It is mostly for liability and, again, also logistics. One, once you ban somebody, all their VODs are gone. All their clips are gone. All their VODs are gone. Uh, in some instances of a temporary ban, uh, because there's two types of like long-term bans, right? There is... Um, I forget the, the phrasing they'll use. Like if you go to a, a certain streamer's channels, it'll say like this channel is uh, no longer available or this channel is temporarily unavailable uh, depending on what type of ban it is because there's like a perma, you're never coming back. In some of those instances, in one of those, you will see the VODs and some clips return. But whenever something is perma never coming back, all that's lost. So having... A clip backlog somewhere in like the Twitch servers to uh, be able to like link to that person like hey here's the clip as to why you were banned that's just like expenses and server space that are just pointless to keep how the fuck oh god trigger warning chat trigger warning buzz cut era did Dr. Zispec get banned what is happening it's probably an accident or something he doesn't get fucking banned like that chat does anyone know what happened does anyone know why Dr. Disrespect got banned? Someone tell me right now. Do I need to throw out my Shungite? No, not Shugnite. I think he's locked up in prison. I, I bought a whole bunch of these. Old memes, dude. Old memes. He's after I saw Dr. Disrespect get protected by it. Anyone know what Shungite is? No, no, Shugnite. Not Shugnite. I think he's locked up in prison. I'm talking Shungite. Anyways, this... This two billion year old rock, like it's like a stone that protects against frequencies, you know, unwanted frequencies that might be traveling in the air. So that's my story. Bought a whole bunch of this stuff. Put them around the <laughs> casa. Uh, Slasher is saying that he's been permanently banned and he's also saying that it's not a DMCA. Um, so we'll see what the fuck happened. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I have no idea. This is the biggest, um, this is probably the, the biggest Twitch streamer that has been permanently banned this way since my time on the platform. No matter how much you may hate Doc or what his history is, or for I don't. CD I, or I, I, I like Doc. I like yeah, no, I like I like him too. But like the, the speculation of chat, Twitch chat, and people on the internet. I don't. I personally poorly aged. This was not a, a like. This was not known at the time. Don't know. So we understand that this is like a very sensitive time how, right how, now, and that. How confident are you that it's not a DMCA? Because Tim the Tap Man I, 
You Did you see the Tim the Tapman video justice. where he like you love your kind of the devil. implies that it might be a DMCA? Something like that needs to be put out there to notify minors he may be talking to. Keeping a secret only serves the platform. It's slimy. It is. Again, though, as someone who in the uh, community said, uh, you know, that they work in the tech industry and uh, with stuff like this, it's literally just legal protection. Best to just get them away from the platform, acknowledge no wrongdoing from the company side. And whether you agree with that, like ethically or morally, that is just what the reality is. 100% correct. The DMCA equals a ban only if it's for live content or third strike and streaming on another platform isn't ban worthy. Just make people Don't lose get partnerships. Permanently or... banned from DMCA. Yeah, I'm an ex Twitch admin. And, 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 yeah, that's true. The MCA, you only get a 24-hour ban for a DMCA if you're live streaming whatever the content is. I've gotten one. That's how I know. I was hesitant to not do the uh, like Facebook Mixer deal, even though I was pretty confident and right anyway. Like before, I heard enough. Yeah, I'm I'm not retracting what I tweeted. Two days later. Hold on, awesome. we got a Dr. Disrespect update. For those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend not gonna I already said what I needed to say I don't give a fuck about this guy dude he's so upset he's so mad look look at how he's like breathing but I like to put it in the fifth gear right off the rip for those that are looking for what Fuck jail, send they ass straight to the Lord. Next dream, Chris Hansen knocking at his door. Fuck Nick Perks, she has ass weird too. Say the kids, I agree from niggas all like you. Claiming that they pushing these agendas. Whole time, their ass pushing an offender. Hate these griffin ass, lying ass, bitch ass, whole ass, bitch ass, whole ass niggas. Beat your ass and hide the bottom, Clancy watching. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, he a fan, he a fan, he a fan, <laughs> he a fan, he a fan, he a fan.